Now, a few weeks ago, I published this video right here on Space Trailers, an innovative, compact, lightweight trailer that I had the pleasure of seeing up close and personal when I visited Space Trailers facility up in Minnesota. But after publishing the video, I had a handful of questions from you guys seeking some clarification about some of the Space Trailer specs and features. Now, some of the questions I got are out of my expertise, but those of you that wanted to know more about this awesome little trailer, saddle up partner, because this video is for you. Now the ingenious design of space trailer really makes it easy to store vertically. Now, as I touched in the previous video, the back of the trailer has what's called a space bumper. Now this is a heavy duty bumper that allows you to tilt the trailer on its end without worrying about damaging the rear tailgate. And unlike most other trailers, this one doesn't have a welded tongue. This one is actually bolted. So this is gonna allow you to flip the tongue around and underneath the trailer. So when you stand it up on end, it has a much more lower profile and can be stored vertically in areas with less headroom. Now, additionally, you can store it inside or outside. The trailer has a galvanized frame and powder coated panel so it can withstand the elements. Now the canopy also has UV protected on it that is also going to provide some protection if you store the trailer outside. Now in my last video I talked about how this trailer can be used for many different purposes from camping, hauling cargo, taking kayaks to the lake and and so much more, the list really goes on. But a question I got from some of you folks is how easy is it to convert the trailer from, shall we say, camping mode to, hey, open space mode? Now the answer to that is actually really easy. So let's say uh, your space trailer is currently set up to go camping. So you have the canopy that's attached and the gear organized inside the bed. But let's assume that you want to use the trailer to make a quick run down to Lowe's to grab some lumber for your home improvement project. What do you do? Well, grab yourself a simple flathead screwdriver and a half inch wrench. Yeah, that's that's all you need. Uh, open up the trailer canopy, deploy the safety stay, and keep the lid open while you work. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the screwdriver to release the gas rings on both sides of the trailer and the socket wrench to remove the bolts from the hinge system on the front of the trailer bed. And once that is all done, simply take the canopy off and you're ready to go. Now the trailer can hold up to a thousand pounds. The load capacity is 1,650 pounds. So you can haul all sorts of gear. And when you're done, all you have to do is reverse the process to replace the canopy and you are ready to get back out into the wilderness and do some serious camping. Now the whole process, you know, it only takes a handful of minutes. Oh, that's good. So you really aren't gonna be spending your entire Saturday changing from one purpose or changing the trailer from one purpose to another. It's really that straightforward. You know what else you can do in a flash? Drop a like. Now, if you've been hanging around this channel for any amount of time, you know that I make videos like this. Plus, I do gear reviews and take you along with me on my Overland adventures and a bunch of other stuff. So if you find this kind of content fun, entertaining, interesting, informative, and so forth, give me this video a like will tell me to keep on trucking and doing more of the same. Your support is always appreciated and so is your feedback. So throw any questions or comments that you might have down below as well. Now this question is pretty cool because then of course in the last video, you saw one of the space trailers with a tent on top of it. So this is really, now there are a few things you can't just take any old space trailer and put a big old tent on top of it. To do so, you're gonna to need to order the space trailer with a few accessories. Now, first off, you're gonna to need to add rear stabilizers so the trailer has additional touch points with the ground. And you also need to order the trailer with the heavy duty cylinders. Now, this is going to allow you to lift the canopy with the extra weight on top of it. Now, space bars are also a necessity. Uh, space trailers recommends that you go with a 72 inch or a 80 inch bars to use on the for a rooftop tent. Now this setup will give you a dynamic weight rating of 225 pounds and a static rating of 625 pounds. Now that is more than enough for most rooftop tents. Now here's a good question that I didn't know myself and it was one of them that I asked 
while I was up there. Now, the difference between a low rider and a high rider is the axle and the leaf spring configuration. Now, in the low rider, the springs are mounted underneath the axle for a lower ride height. Now, conversely, the high rider springs are above the axle for a higher ride height. Now, the model you choose really depends on the height of your hitch of your tow vehicle. So if you have a smaller vehicle, like a Subaru, for example, a low rider configuration is going to be the better option. But if you have something like a Toyota Tacoma or a Jeep Gladiator, the high rider model is going to be the better choice in that particular case. Now, it should be noted that both configurations have the same ground clearance. Now, the axle is the same height. The low and the high refer to only the height of the hitch. Now, additionally, there is a high rider XL model that has the has the same height specs as the high rider, but is 20% larger and features a more robust build if you have some off-road adventures in the plan. Now, Space Trailers is headquartered in Red Wing, Minnesota, so you can drop by their headquarters, take a look around, and get the ordering process underway, which I would recommend after being up there, it's a pretty cool place to see. Or you can head over to spacetrailers.com and order your trailer from the comfort of your own home. And as you'll see, there are all sorts of selections and options that you can tailor the trailer to your specific needs. And I'm sure you're wondering, if you order online, do you have to go to Minnesota to pick it up? Nope. Not at all. Space Trailers will ship the trailer to you, as I understand, for $995 at the time of this video. Now, assuming you live in the lower 48 states, and no matter if you order the trailer in person or online, it only takes about four weeks for the trailer to get done, which is actually pretty slick. Now, at the end of the day, the trailer is multifunctional, easy to use, lightweight, beautifully built, and really, what more could you want? Yeah, yeah, money, right? Show me the money! Well, you can save money with space trailers because these bad boys are budget friendly, which is one of the things I said in the last video, which really is a big home run. Now, these things start at less than $5,000. Now, that's a really a small price to pay for the freedom to hit the road and have the ability to take all your gear in such a compact trailer. And friends, well, with that, you've got more answers to your burning questions about space trailers. Now, if there are additional questions, feel free to leave them down below or hit the contact us on Four Wheel Drive Talk and we will do what we can to get these answers for you. So friends, thanks again and uh, we'll see you during the next video.